Hey lawn and garden lovers. Hey, let's go plant some peppers. The real secret to faster planting is this auger attachment I have for my electric drill. It's a three inch auger that three inch peat pots fit into perfectly. It allows me to auger out the holes and just drop the peat pots right into the holes. I previously tilled and fertilized my garden a couple of days ago in my video titled, Get the Most Out of Tilling Your Garden. Having the soil at just the right moisture content really helps in the digging process. With too much moisture, the soil can be muddy and sticky, and with too little moisture, it can be too loose and flow back into the hole. It's just a little bit too loose today, but good enough to go ahead and start planting. I'm having just a little bit of trouble cleaning the hole though, but it's not a big problem. Once I get the depth I want, it's just a matter of spinning the dirt out of the hole. Even with the soil being just a little bit dry, this goes really fast, and I'm not down on my knees with a hand trowel. In real time, it only took me four and a half minutes to drill all those holes. All right, this is looking good. Should be easy planting. Okay, let's start with tomatoes. There's a nice one. There's three more. I got way more tomatoes than I actually am going to plant. But that's a good one. Straight. I got two straight ones. I plant three seeds in each container so I make sure I get at least one plant. One will grow, you know, at least one will grow, hopefully. So I'm going to be using my scissors here to cut off the extra plants I don't need. I like to put a little bit of fertilizer in each hole, about a teaspoon. Water it in a little bit. I like to cut the bottom leaves off the tomatoes too and plant them as deep as you can. Just peel off the pea pot here. Make it a little easier for those roots to grow out. Peat, pot, peat pots are almost disintegrated already. There we go. I just want to put that in there. It's about as deep as it'll go. I found that planting the tomatoes deeply will make roots grow out from the buried stem. And for some reason, the plants grow faster and bigger when planted that way. That'll work for peppers too if the plants are tall enough by planting time. Make a little depression for water to settle in there. Now for number two. 
Do the fertilizer and water. Got six plants I want to do right away, so I'll fill six holes. I grow five different kinds of peppers, and if all goes as planned, I plant five of each variety, along with two tomato plants in this 100 square foot garden. This year I'm planting jalapenos, serranos, banana peppers, big chilies, and Anaheim chilies. See if we can get that on in there. This is the only garden I have that gets full sun. And peppers and tomatoes require full sun. I live in a northern clime, so I choose varieties that mature early. Okay, if you plant these a little deep, they're kind of like tomatoes. They'll start growing roots out of their stem down there. Okay, that looks pretty good. After planting, I like to put tomato cages around as many of the plants as I can. Hey, little feller, stand up straight. They help support a heavy crop of fruit and protect from the strong winds I get in this open part of the yard. Hey, don't miss the next video. I'll be trying out the scar fire on my new reel mower. Until then, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and then ring the bell that pops up next to it. That way you won't miss the next video. Oh, come on, you can do it. I don't know if you can give them too much water, can you? Tomato there is looking better all the time. Well, there they go. In a couple months, they'll be as tall as the tomato cages. Hard to believe now, isn't it?